Hi there, and welcome to the quick demonstration of my Guess the Number mini project. This is part of the interactive programming using Python course on Coursera. First of all, I'd like to thank the instructors and the TAs that are involved in making this happen. I do not have a strong background in programming, and if this is possible, it's only because of you guys. So, big thanks again. So, I'll just run my program to show you what exactly is happening. Voila! So there you are. You can see I've added a bit of a, a canvas functionality with the game. So, initially my default limit is 100, so it says I have 7 tries left. So let's just play a quick game. 50. It's greater than 50. So let's see, 75. It's greater than 75. 87. Greater than 87. So, 93. This is a 93, so it's between 88 and 92. So, let me guess. Uh, 90. So, no prizes for guessing. It should be 89. There. So, once I win, it congratulates me, calls me a genius, raises your ego, whatnot. And, of course, it prompts you to play again. So, let me see what happens if I lose. Just replicate the same output. Here. Yeah, you can see the computer is not happy that you lost, but it still puts on a happy face and wants you to play again. So once I'm bored of playing with a limit of 100, I can always change it to 1000. And you can see what happened there. It started a new game and prompts me that I have 10 tries left. So if you want to see what happens, I can just enter. And the game goes on. So this is basically how my output looks. Okay. So this is my code. It's about... Uh, 165 lines long and that's including all the comments and all the canvas functionalities and that would explain why the code is so long so you can see this scary looking function here so this basically tells you that the, nu the number of uh, attempts that the player has to guess the number so that depends on the limit that's set which is either 100 or 1000 and it's calculated using the math.seal and the math.log functions and there's all your tutorial about how this is calculated so I will not delve into that right now so you can see here this part of my code is the heart of all the canvas functionality that you just saw so first is when you win it congratulates you and asks you to play again if you have the time why not and this and this function is called when the number that I've just input is lesser than the number that I have to guess and this if it's greater than the number of the guess. And here of course when I lose the computer is not too happy and asks you to play again. So this is my version of guess the number. Hope you have been watching.